growing threat from within, the Great Awakening. The Soviet Union lost the Cold War, thank the Lord. But Marx, Karl Marx, no, Marx lived on. He lived on in the English departments in American universities. I have a style that's a lot more unequivocal, right? Because I'm acting as more of a kind of ideological warrior, you know, than I am as a kind of sure. academic. Marx was never in a position to do any policy, right? So let me just drop probably the most controversial one just right out the gate, and that is Joseph Stalin. I had some viral tweets uh, back in the end of June um, where, you know, I celebrated the legacy of Stalin and, and these really sort of took over and started trending. There's never been any kind of good argument that said the Soviets intentionally, or let alone Stalin, intentionally starved people. That is, in fact, the truth is the opposite. The Soviets ended the problem of famine. I think it's a huge mistake to look at Soviet history and say, oh, that was an economic failure and oh, people suffered and whatever and whatever. It's a huge mistake and a huge distortion to allow the anti-communists, most of whom, by the way, are Nazis, Nazis, to write this history. Oh, Marx lived on. He lived on in the English departments in American universities. He lived on in the law schools of American faculty rooms. And in places like that, a new Marxist ideology took root that trashed American society as fundamentally oppressive, systemically racist. You've heard this. Most of whom, by the way, are Nazis. 